Hello and welcome back to the abstract blanket crochet along. By this point you should have done all of your squares in the different colours that the pattern states and you are ready to sew them together. So make sure that you check out the link in the description box below which will take you to the blog post and then you can download the layout of what squares go where. So we're actually going to sew these squares together and the reason why we're going to sew them is because keeping with the kind of abstract painting kind of feel we want to keep this border fairly thin, so sewing was the best option. So what you want to do is start off with your first two squares and you want to fold them right side facing you and you're going to line up the squares like so. And you want to first of all just attach your yarn into the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my crochet hook through the stitches, so the corresponding stitches, just so that I can grab this yarn and pull it through and then I'm going to tie a knot in that. Now what I'm going to do is take my darning needle and thread that up and all you want to do here is simply take your darning needle and sew your squares together using those double crochets from that fifth round. So you're putting your needle into the tops of those stitches and whip stitching them together. Once you get into the flow of this, it's actually really, really easy to do. So you want to go ahead and do that for each and every one of your squares. It might take a little bit of time to do, but I find that when you're doing this, the fact that you can see your blanket coming together is really, really satisfying. So this is how you sew all of your squares together. If you want to go ahead and do that, and then in this video, I'm also going to show you how to add your border. So if I just open this out, you can see that that is nice and neatly sewn those squares together and it's not too bulky. So go ahead and do that and then come back to this video to learn how to do the border. So I've just sewn together my three sample squares just for the sake of this tutorial. Obviously your project would be much bigger. But once you've sewn all of your squares together, it's now time to crochet your border. So you want to go ahead and insert your colour into the double crochets from your rounds that you've worked. And you want to begin by chaining two, one, two, and we are just going to double crochet into every stitch around the entire project. Now once you get to the corners, you will notice that you'll have four stitches in that corner. You want to double crochet into that first stitch, into the second stitch, and then find the next two stitches from the next corner and work into those. One and two. And that just builds the bridge between one um, square and another. And then you would just simply work all the way round doing your double crochet into each of the stitches. And when you get to the corners, you will continue to do one double crochet into each of those stitches. So it's just one double crochet into each stitch all the way around your entire project. Pause the video and then meet me back for your very last round. So I've now worked my way all the way around and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that very first chain that we did. I'm going to go ahead and chain one and now we're going to do the very last round of this blanket. And this is the reverse double crochet or the crab stitch. So what you want to do is instead of doing a double crochet in the way that you would normally work, you would do it backwards. So for me, it's going back to this one. We're going to go ahead and insert our hook into that stitch behind. 
yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and insert the stitch behind and do your double crochet. And this just builds a really pretty but simple border. I really wanted this to have a simple border just again because it's based on a um, abstract picture and I just thought a simple border would mimic that. So again, one reverse double crochet into every stitch all the way around. Once you've done that, meet me back when you're ready and we'll finish off the blanket. So finally, once you've worked your way all the way around, you are going to slip stitch into um, the double crochet that you started with, yarn over, pull through, snip off your yarn, Pull it out and then you want to sew that into your work. So finally you have finished your abstract blanket. Congratulations for getting to the very end. I really hope that you've enjoyed creating this blanket and learning new techniques. Please make sure that you are sharing your projects with me. I would absolutely love to see them as well as um, your project progress pictures I want to see the after pictures thank you so much for following along please make sure that you've subscribed to this channel to see even more tutorials thank you so much for watching see you again soon bye